We'll talk now about the Steel Offshore Racing Team. These guys have achieved tremendous amounts of success in a very short amount of time. They compete in the top class of high performance racing. Before I talk with the driver, J.R. Noble, this morning, I'm going to show you some video of Steel performing in the Key West World Championships in 2012. You know, things can happen. This, this, this liquid race course, every single centimeter can be different. Non-stop. Non-stop on the back stretch. I mean, when we came into the harbor, we were rolling. Uh, of course, you know, one end is flat and the other is eight footers. So, uh, some flyers today, but uh, Grant, uh, we drove a, a fast, but uh, as safe a race as we could because uh, you know the last thing we wanted to do is go upside down. And uh, we hear there was some very close calls. We had one ourselves where we took a flyer, went down, took another flyer to the point where I was reaching for my regulator. But uh, and I even had time somewhere in there to say, God, I hope we land. And uh, fortunately, the boat came down properly instead of blowing over backwards, and uh, we went on. But, uh, you know, better to get second and uh, race another day. Accelerate more in and out of corner, especially with this tight as the, the turn one and turn three are. Uh -huh. The acceleration would definitely help you. race I think uh, I've ever been in and we've been in some rough ones but uh, that back stretch uh, between one and two uh, I swear there was seven eight footers out there and it was mixed up so it was hard to see I mean uh, that, that well, there were some hits out there that I'm just amazed that the boat held together and more importantly I'm amazed that my back is still in one piece which I kind of question JR, it is a pleasure to have you sitting here with me this morning. Thank you for being on. And first of all, congratulations on winning Wednesday's race. Now, what does that mean for the remainder of the championships? Well, first off, thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, yeah, we had a very uh, successful race on Wednesday. Uh, it was close racing, mm -hmm. but uh, it's only the equivalent of 25% over. So there's still an awful lot of racing to go with a lot of great boats. So, you know, it's far from over, mm -hmm. but uh, it's good to start off with a win. Absolutely. It's, it's nice to have that good start under your belt right now. Mm -hmm. Now, JR, you are racing in a new class this year. How are you liking the class so far? Oh, I think the class is fantastic. What, what uh, the organization has done is taken what used to be three classes and combined it down to one class. So that brings more boats into the class, and it makes it more competitive. And uh, you know, we we do this for a hobby. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, the more boats in the class, the more competitiveness it is, or the more competitors, mm -hmm. uh, all the better. That's what makes it fun. Absolutely. Let's talk a little bit about your strategy for the races for the remainder of the week. It's kind of the same conditions. There's the windy conditions and there's also the calm conditions. How do you change things up? Yeah, Key West is very unique in that you have uh, the rough water typically on the outside of the course. And then when you come in the harbor, so it's all different. You can't set up for rough or calm. So you try and pick something that works for both. And, uh, you know, you can get passed on the outside and then be the faster boat on the inside uh, or vice versa. So it, it's just uh, finding that right sequence for the exact conditions that day and uh, makes a difference between winning and, and losing. So Now, Key West isn't anything new to you. You have raced at Key West before. How many times have you been here? Uh, this will be my eighth Key West okay. race. I've been fortunate enough to win it two times. So it's a very difficult race to win, not only from the amount of competitors and the great racers that come here, 
but you do have to race three different times. Mm -hmm. So, you know, one, one break, uh, something goes wrong with an engine or something, and it, 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 you know, there goes Key West, so. Right, right. But so you're eighth time here, and now you are relatively new yourself to the sport of powerboat racing. How did this all get started for you? <laughs> uh, I was in buying a, a car for my son, as a matter of fact. He was going off to the Marine Corps. And uh, he had pictures the closing agent did of race boats. And we got talking, and I, I said, you want to go for a ride? We're testing next week. I did, and so it become an addiction. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> since then, it's, it's, it's cost <laughs> a lot of money, two <laughs> boats, a couple tractor trailers, and, you know. So, yeah, but I fell in love with it. And as much as I love the racing part of it and the adrenaline of being in there, uh, it's such great people. The organization is so much fun, and I've made so many good friends. So, good. you know, I, I just absolutely love it. Well, I can tell you're passionate about it, and you definitely have a love for the sport. And now you mentioned that you've met so many great people in the sport. I imagine that it also has to be so important to have a good team on your side. Yeah, I'm. I'm very, very fortunate in that regard. I have a great team. Uh, Dave Hutchinson, our crew chief has been with us since day one. I've been riding uh, in the boat with Grant Bruggeman, my throttleman, for uh, eight years now. This is our eighth season together. So we've had a lot of time in the boat together. We know, you know, because out there at going those speeds, you got to trust the person you're sitting next to. Mm -hmm. And I'm very fortunate. He's uh, a very great throttle man, and I'm very fortunate to be in the boat with him. So. Now, how do you two stay calm when you do have those moments when everything things everything seems to go wrong right at once? It isn't calm. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't have that calm. <laughs> no, you know we focus uh, uh, when you get out there in the rough and you're bouncing around like that, and or you got boats side by side with you, going into the turns at a uh, hundred and twenty plus miles an hour. You know it, it's. Uh, you got to have a lot of communication in the boat, mm -hmm. and we've been able to do that very effectively over the years. So, uh, I have to communicate with him, and he has to communicate with me, because unlike car racing, where one individual is controlling everything, mm -hmm. the speed, the steering, uh, in boat racing it's different. There's two guys in every boat, mm -hmm. one throttling and one steering. So, uh, you have to work as one, though. Mm -hmm. So communication is key. It is definitely key. <laughs> well, I look forward to seeing you out there today and then also on Sunday. Best of luck to you and your team. Well, thanks for having us. It's been a pleasure. I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back after these messages. Stay with me.